Hi, Kevin Blanche. I want to talk about the jet stream in the context of the nuclear meltdown nightmare we got going on in fucking Japan. And these lying fucks are fucking media. And if you trust anything the fucking media tells you, remember four things. One, remember when Colin Powell stood in front of the UN and light his ass up and said we have weapons of mass destruction. Remember the media. Valerie Plain Wilson's husband was screaming his head off. The UN inspectors themselves were screaming their heads off. He's lying. He's lying. He's lying. The media lets them off the hook. Remember when Bush, when 30 media outlets come out and say Bush won the election and one Fox's cousin comes out and says it's not. The media lets them off the hook. Remember when they told you that Pat Tillman freaking died in the Fowler fucking wiping out freaking 900 Al-Qaeda freaking the very freaking guys who did 9-11 with a machine gun. The medium let him off the hook. Remember when they told you Jessica Lynch decorating her medals, give her a Congressional Medal of Honor. She fought in Valor freaking one there and when she was hunkered down, the media let him off the fucking hook. Remember when the plumes were coming out March 12th, the morning thereof, and the media lets him off the fucking hook. Do not believe these motherfuckers. This thing has been leaking radiation for four fucking days. And let's talk about the jet stream. Okay, a lot of people don't know this. In the context of the jet stream, the jet stream, people didn't even know what it was until World War II. It had been hypothesized, believe it or not, it comes full circle, by a Japanese philosopher many, many, many hundreds of years ago. He had hypothesized that there was this crazy air stream up there that went thousands of miles an hour. Well, during World War II, one of the Japanese scientists actually thought maybe he's right. So what they did, they released helium balloons with bombs on them up into the air. And he hypothesized they would get in the jet stream and come to the west coast of the United States. He had no idea if it was working. It was experimental, but they released thousands of them. Well, the fact is they were making it here. The United States had a con serious problem on their hands, they kept it tight-lipped as they possibly could. Well, the jet stream at that time was flowing through Oregon. You know, it can go anywhere from all the way up the Canadian coast all the way down to Mexico, depending on where it just happens to be flowing at the time. We all know this. Well, these bombs were landing in the forest in Oregon. There was a Baptist church minister who had a Sunday school out in there. He took a group on a picnic from his church, children out in there, they found one, it went off and killed them all. It was kept hush, hush, hush. A lot of people don't know this. There was one found not very many years ago by a guy I know right over here on the other side of the Great Salt Lake. It's real. PBS has done a documentary on it. The jet stream is very real. Now, as in the context of nuclear radiation, the plumes that went up, if you think that's just a hydrogen blast, those first two or threes, like I said, take three freaking iodine tablets and two doses of George Bush and Fox News and go to Glenn Beck's freaking site. Look, the jet stream, as far as the radiate, who knows those minute particles as they cling on to freaking minute dust particles or whatever, how far they travel. I don't think anyone really knows. I mean, we do know the southern Utah nightmare that killed all those thousands and thousands of people. You think it's ironic that I've been ranting, I've been involved with the atomic nuclear veterans, they're all dead so they can't speak for themselves. I've been livid about this. I've been screaming from every rooftop there ever was for well over a decade. No one will even listen to me. Boy, is it ironic I get calls from both congressmen today. Both congressmen's office. Matheson's and scumbag piece of shit. Rob Bishop who hides in his freaking basement so that the teabaggers can't get him when... That's how ignorant the teabaggers. Look, I don't know if you guys got a chance to see my video about Congress doesn't know who their Congress. I mean, what I did, I did 2,000 interviews with my video camera on a university campus, and I asked two questions. One, who, one, what is your opinion of Congress? Perverted, blah, 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 we hate them, we hate them. Two, who is your congressman or woman? Out of 2,000, less than 100 got it right. The last two interviews, one was a college professor. He got it wrong. Uh, the, the last interview was with a homeless guy. He knew it. I went up and told the college professor, which I'm a teacher. I have been in the past. I told him that he got it wrong. 
and the homeless guy got it right. And he said to me, how the fuck would he know? He doesn't even have a television. And I says, well, there you have it. There's your answer to the whole thing. You ever heard of a fucking newspaper? He got pissed. You know, fuck him. But anyway, as far as the whole thing, it's dust in the wind. It is dust in the wind. And it's like this pond. You've seen my videos I do on this beautiful pond and the backdrop. That is the majestic mountain Paramount Pictures has drawn. That's Ben Loman. That's how he draws. Hodgkins is... Hodgkins was from here. He lived here before he went to Southern Cal. That's the mountain. He drew it on a napkin. Well, remember this beautiful pond? They drain it once a year, clean it up. This is what the whole freaking earth's gonna look like if we let these radical conservatives to keep on going. Between the Gulf and this is a philosophical battle and I'm ready to fight it any fucking day. Bring these punks on. Kevin Lynch.